Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Feiler. I'm an evolutionary astrologer and this is the evolutionary astrology message for the week between the 5th and the 12th of January 2019. Happy New Year everybody. This is the place where we talk about celestial transits in the week to come uh, or in the near future and how they affect all of us, all zodiac signs. We actually go into the days themselves and I talk always in Central European time so if you are stations and stationed in the States move it about seven hours backwards for the East Coast about nine hours for the West Coast and um, or ten hours for the West Coast and the other way around if you are in the Pacific in Australia move it ten hours ahead so what is this time like? What are we heading into? Well, there's a lot of Capricorn energy in the sky that is heightening over this week. That really requires us, and you could see where Capricorn sits in your natal chart. So you could see in which house, you could see in which aspects, and you can know in which parts of your life you are affected and you need to be more responsible or more responsible and more adult about things. And there's actually a partial solar eclipse happening and on the 6th, January 6th and 15 degrees of Capricorn. So this is a time of a great imprinting and great changes. Every solar eclipse is a new moon, and we know that the new moon is a time of an energetical imprint that follows up, fo follows us throughout the next lunar cycle. So add to that that this is a partial solar eclipse, and we get a much more major event. Add to that fact that Mr. Pluto, Hades, is not so far away, and the sun is heading towards a conjunction with Pluto. Uh, throughout this week, then we get a truly transformative time, a time that we should all shed some armor, some skin that we've outgrown, that is now constricting us from actually developing. It's a time to be brave and dive into the abyss of our soul and see those dancing shadows and grab them by the neck by the neck and rid ourselves from their crazy dances and trills. It's a time for hunting, ladies and gentlemen, hunting of shadows within yourself. It's a time to leave behind those protocols that were once hidden, once hidden, but throughout this time revealed their faces, their true faces, and now, because we have, saw, we have seen that mechanism and how it is affecting us, we are able to rid ourselves from it. Now, these transformations can either come in a joyful, spiritual, therapeutic manner, or in a chaotic, traumatic manner. And the more that we hang on to things that we know are already part of our past, not our future, that are actually preventing us from further transformation. It's as if the baby would have liked to stay in the womb as it was feeling the contractions of labor coming up. It knows that everything is provided in that sheltered place, yet it senses that there's no room for it there anymore. It's not its place anymore. It must, must be pushed through the birth canal into a new world, a new life. If uncertainty is an individual unit Fighting for survival. 
and a lot of things can change and we know that changes are heightened on eclipses we know that a lot of souls come into this world on eclipses we know that a lot of souls leave this world together with that sun pluto conjunction it's a time that we should watch out because we could go to extremes we could be too dogmatic well dogmatic is another aspect coming up that's the saturn uh, mercury conjunction coming up next week so we could be too dogmatic too harsh or too obsessive that's the pluto sun and and too dramatic about things and make mountains out of molehills so don't however there is a ray of light or shall i say a ray of moonlight intimacy sex intimate relationships romantic relationships friendships business relationships money gaining all of those aspects including everything else that satisfies us in our life star <laughs> is actually looking up looking good over the next few weeks we can enjoy ourselves a lot more we can thrive within intimacy sexuality romance love it can provide the belief the optimism the joyfulness the sunshine that we need to go through this time and actually take that responsibility upon our shoulders actually grow up actually do mature we could get so much help and give so much receive and give so much through our loved ones and friends and colleagues over the next few weeks and that's the power that we need to adopt this is not a time to walk alone other than that we can so much want to indulge so here's how the mechanism works right when we have all the saturnian energy all this capricornian energy in the sky there's going to be some place in your life that you need to be responsible, do things as they should be done, correctly, in line with reality, so it could have a strategic effect that you need to stand up and, and, and mature. And this can produce a lot of stress. We can see how much work there is to be done. So we want to disconnect from the stress and jump to this fuzzy um, um, uh, fuzzy bubble that we can feel nice and warm in and not think about these things that we need to take care of this could be either through one of our five senses eating something using substances drinking something having sex buying things um, very seldomly can we do it through our eyes and ears by listening to beautiful music or looking at beautiful things and if it does come to that try and do that when you want to run away when you want to disconnect go to a gallery see a movie listen to some classical music or any music you like but move that need to break away through these senses instead of one of the others you could do it through smells just don't abuse your nostrils with any substances <laughs> um, I use I used to say that use all three all just raise it to these three holes but people told me that people snort a lot so I should mention I'm not for snorting just for smelling beautiful smells seeing beautiful sights and listening to beautiful sounds because <coughs> we could overindulge excuse me throughout this period we could be too extreme we could really want to disconnect from all that anxiety and 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 uh, and um, judgment or or um need to be responsible in our life 
and we could take it too far. We could dive in too deep. Uh, we could gain weight because we're eating food that is too rich. So do be careful. So what else do we have this week? Mercury is moving into Capricorn, heightening that Capricornian energy, making us all feel the slower pace of moving forward, of making decisions, of thinking. We need everything to be more established. We need everything to be more backed up, everything to be more practical. And, and we could slow down, but agreements that are signed throughout the next week can really be cemented in. This is a time of a shift of shape. And these new agreements, these new decisions, these uh, new understandings can help cement in the new shape. Of things. Um, so Mercury is moving into Capricorn. We have Venus moving into Sagittarius, heightening our need for satisfaction and love, our, our optimism, our value and self value, and really wanting to expand on all of these and able to, able to expand on all of these. Mercury, the planet of communication, is threatened by Mars, the planet of war, throughout this week as they square again. And we really have to watch our communications, how we state things, and not to be too conflictual, not to be too emotional, not to be too impulsive with how we say things, not to fight with people over this week. And we have the Sun conjunct Pluto, on Friday, that's the height of that transformational time that I was talking about. And just on Sunday, we have Mercury conjuncting Saturn. That's the cement I was talking about. That's the time of decisions. That's the time we also have to be careful not to be too harsh critics and judges of ourselves or others. And that's also a time in which we have an exact square between Jupiter and Neptune, a square that follows, out, follows us throughout the year. It's going to be exact again at the end of 2019. And it's all about visions and delusions. It's about um, the difference between having a dream or a vision that is somewhere disconnected from our reality than having an idea or a vision that actually communicates with our reality, that speaks with it in some way, that actually manifests itself in some way. That is about growth that is sustainable and growth that one day would collapse onto itself because it is full of air. And we will see both of these, uh, both person, personally in our lives and outside in the world throughout this time. And speaking about the public level, this is a time that things could be, things that were once hidden with the king can come up to the surface. Uh, things that um, the ruler can change. In ancient astrology, when there was an eclipse, they used to take a double and throne him uh, uh, instead of the king. So if someone would try to assassinate the king because of the solar eclipse, because the king is the sun, then the double would be assassinated. And sometimes they assassinated him themselves, so the person that dies would not be the true king. So this is a time that politically we could see great changes, we could see agreements, we could see uh, shifts that hold for a long time afterwards. And a lot of drama. Let's go down to the weekdays and and see how things flow. So Saturday, quite a sensitive day. Don't be too judgmental. That's my what I wanted to say for the day or too emotional about how you uh, don't don't act from your hurt place and and or or be conflictual on that day other than that. It's a great day for work, for being with a, the elderly, for being with um high-ranking officials. Sunday the 6th, that's the eclipse, it's a new moon, it's a time of energetical imprint, 
um, that new moon eclipse, um, solar eclipse is not far from Pluto. Um, watch out from being too dramatic. Watch out for making mountains out of molehills, as I said before. Uranus stations to move direct. All these few days, it's a time that paste can be unpredictable, changeable. Things could not move forward and be stuck one second and then move ahead too fast the, 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 the second after. So we really have to be patient throughout this next few days and not lose our tolerance with people or with ourselves as this is a classic time to do so. Be as flexible as you can also on Monday the 7th. And from the morning onwards, this could be a very beautiful day as the moon is sextiling Venus. It could be a lovely day for satisfaction. And that Venus is heading into Sagittarius on that day. The moon is then sextiling Mars. Very beautiful energy in the sky. So does Tuesday. Tuesday with the moon in uh, uh, Aquarius, uh, again, flexibility and change, fast-paced, well, unpredictable, but can be very enjoyable, new, exciting, but, but, here's the but, it's also the day that Mercury is exact squaring to Mars, so communication-wise, decision-wise, on the roads, in the house, it's a time that there's more danger and more accidents happen, that we could be more impulsive. It could be uh, 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 verbal accidents or it could be things that we did and, and tend, up, tend out to not come out as we expected. So just be more um, logical and calculated at this time. Don't let the emotions rule you. And not also on Wednesday. And do try to be as flexible as you can. Um, don't be too sensitive because we have a tendency to be unsatisfied and sensitive on Wednesday the 9th. Uh, Thursday the 10th, um, from noontime onwards, this could be a great day for agreements, for signing business deals, for taking things that are concerning your career onwards. Um, it's a great time for... Um, dealing with serious matters that are of, are of strategic importance somehow. Um, as I said, great time for signing off deals. Um, and on Friday the 11th, we have the Sun conjunct Pluto. It's the height of the transformational time. Don't make mountains out of molehills. Don't be too obsessive. Don't be too dramatic. Great time for sex. Great time for intimacy. Great time to be within that space do that shadow work you know um go through that wormhole and be sp sp spitted on a different shoreline see the sky a new skyscape for the first time it's about understanding you know i suddenly see things that i haven't seen before because of i of that clarity that i've gained because of that transformational, emotional uh, uh, um, process that I've gone through. And Pluto says, buddy, you know, if you won't be powerful enough to take it out, go out of your comfort zone and actually expose this and work with this, I'll make sure to expose this for you. And when I do, it's going to be intense. It's going to be turbulent. It's going to be fucking volcanic. So it could be either of these. I would say allow yourself to transform. Remember how the caterpillar has to be so brave and believe that he'll be all right as he goes into this cocoon state in which he's most vulnerable to any predator only for getting to this moment of opening his wings as a butterfly and lifting up to the skies, fulfilling his destiny. And we all need to go through this process. And at this time, these kind of processes are heightened. So a lot can change. Friday is also a great day for communication, especially emotional communication. It could be an amazing day between males and females and between couples in general. And so can Saturday. It could be a great day for friends, 
for people you love, for intimacy, for money as well. Just enjoy yourself over these days. And, and, and creativity is heightened. Artistic uh, uh, endeavors can be amazing on these days. Anything that is creative. The 13th is the day that Mercury is conjunct Saturn. And Jupiter is squaring Neptune. Uh, and that we talked about in the beginning of the video already. So that's everything I had to say for this week. Thank you for sharing these. Thank you for commenting them. Now you're coming, Georgia. I'm at the end of my video. Anyway, from on behalf of Georgia and myself, we wish you to live long and prosper. Damn it, Georgia. I'm an astrologer, not a mechanic. <laughs>